How's it going everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm going to be looking at a beer from a new brewery to the channel, some Ontario brewed craft beer from Merritt Brewing out in Hamilton. Pretty sure. Um, can't find any information other than Merritt Brewing, brewed on St. J on James Street North. Um, yeah. Uh, no ABV, nothing on this beer, had to look it up. It's uh, their Woe Woe IPA at 5% alcohol by volume, uh, brewed with Galaxy, Ella, and Vic Secret hops. So yeah, pretty cool. Some Southern Hemisphere uh, hops. Um, yeah, always like that. Let's get it cracked, poured, see how it is. Shitty bottle opener, but whatever. There we go. And a, another cap for the collection. I like that. Pretty neat. Uh, yeah, let's get this one poured. Pouring that hazy New England color. Um, yeah, really nice looking beer. Gonna get rid of some of those water spots at the bottom of the glass there. Um, yeah, readjust this a bit. Uh, there we go. It's pouring a nice pineapple juice, light, pale, yellow kind of color. Um, almost like like passion fruit juice or something like that. Uh, really cool looking beer. Looks like almost a pina colada. Two fingers of a fluffy, bright white head. That's a nice looking hazy IPA. Let's get an aroma off this guy. Tons and tons of citrusy, lemony hops going on in this beer. Some nice, like, green, fresh hop aromas. <sighs> Maybe a hint of basil, some sweet vanilla notes, stuff like that. Really nice smelling beer. So, let's try it out. Cheers, everybody. Mm, really good. A little bit more bitter than I was expecting. Solid green hot bitterness throughout. Um, like freshly brewed uh, hops, you know, uh, if that makes sense. But yeah, just like really fresh uh, green hot bitterness. Some nice pineapple, uh, lemon, uh, basil, green kind of notes, you know, just a really, really nice young IPA kind of flavor. Very fresh, very bright. Mouthfeel's got this lightness to it, but for 5%, I was expecting it to be a lot lighter than it is. Um, it's got this creaminess, this fluffy kind of thing, really, really digging the mouthfeel. Um, yeah, I really like this. Uh, this is something I could drink tons and tons of. Uh, from when it comes to like five and lower percent uh, IPAs, I often find them not quite as flavorful, uh, pretty light in body. This has none of the, that. Uh, one of the better uh, like five and lower percent beers I've had as of late, uh, hoppy beers I've had of late. Uh, really good stuff, so awesome beer to start me off with Merritt's Brews. I got a couple more in Imperial Stout, a couple uh, uh, grape skin lagers, which is cool, and um, this one's an awesome introduction to the brewery, so I'm going to go like 94 on this guy. I'm really, really liking it. This is the perfect kind of session beer for me. The bitterness... Uh, would prevent the beer from getting too sweet, uh, as often New England styles can for me. If you're drinking tons and tons of them over uh, any period of time, you know, um, I find it can really just get overly sweet after a while. But this has that bitterness to balance it all out. Really digging it. So there we go. Uh, that's a review. Let me know what y'all think of this beer or any other beers from Merritt out there in Hamilton that you've had. Any other beers 
that I should try from them. Um, yeah. If you like the review and want to see more Merit beer reviews in the not-too-distant future, then give me a shout. Um, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Till the next time. Cheers. Bloody delicious.